Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under type 4. Here we have problem 3. This is a very significant problem in the examination point of view. The question is to solve z equal to px plus qy plus square root of 1 plus p square plus q square. Now in order to solve this problem, we understand that the given question is in the form of clear its uh, form. So, we, we shall write that first. The first step is we have to find the complete integral. So, let us mark the given equation as equation 1. Now, in order to find the complete integral, we have to put p equal to a and q equal to b in equation 1. So, let us do that now. So, put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. 1. So what we get is z is equal to instead of p we have to replace it by a. So ax plus instead of q we have to replace it by b. So by plus square root of 1 plus so p we have here. So a square plus q square is b square. So this is the complete integral so we have found the complete integral. So this gives the complete integral. The next step is we have to find the singular integral. Now in order to find the singular integral, we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b from equation 2. So from the complete integral, if we eliminate the arbitrary constants, we get the singular integral. So for which we have to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to a and b. So let us do that now. First, we shall rewrite this equation 2 in a convenient form for differentiation. So, it, will, it can be rewritten as z equal to ax plus by plus the square root can be written as 1 plus a square plus b square to the power 1 by 2. So, that we can use the chain rule method and easily we can differentiate this. So, I have just rewritten equation 2 for our convenience. The next step is we shall differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to a. So, dou z by dou a will be equal to. So, if we differentiate partially with respect to a, what do we get? Here we have a into x. So, x, x will be treated as constant. So, it will be a into 1. So, we get a. by will become 0 plus here we have to use nx power n minus 1 format. So the value of n is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, 1 plus a square plus b square, the whole power 1 by 2 minus 1, which will be minus 1 by 2. And then we have to use the chain rule and we have to differentiate what is in the, whatever is there inside the bracket. So multiplied with differentiation of 1 is 0, differentiation of a square is 2a, and the differentiation of b square is 0. So, we have got the differentiation of z with respect to a partially. Now, let us just simplify and re rewrite it. So, this will be equal to a plus this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. And we have a, div I mean, uh, yeah, a divided by. So, then we have. Now, 1 plus a square plus b square, the whole power minus 1 by 2 we have, which when taken to the denominator will become plus 1 by 2, which means it will be square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. And there is a small correction. Here, when we differentiate a x, x will be treated as constant. And the differentiation of a is only 1. So, 1 multiplied with x will give us x. So, this should be x plus, okay. So, x plus this value and uh, this is what we obtain for dou z by dou a. Now, we have to equate this to 0. So, when we equate it to 0, that is put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0, which means this has to be equated to 0. So, x plus a divided by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square will be equated to 0 and from which we get the value of x to b. So, what will be x? x will be equal to negative a divided by square root of 1 plus a square plus
plus b square. Let us just mark this as equation 3. So let this be equation 3. In a similar way, we have to differentiate z partially with respect to y. So we get dou is z by dou y. So now when partially differentiated with respect to y, ax will become 0. Now by has to be differentiated. y will be treated as constant. Differentiation of b is 1. So we will have 1 multiplied with y. So it will be y plus. Here we will have 1 by 2. 1 plus a squared plus b squared to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 which is minus 1 by 2. And then chain rule method multiplied with, dif with differentiation of 1 is 0. Differentiation of a square is also equal to 0 because we are differentiating with respect to b actually. So this is dou z by dou b. Not y, dou z by dou b. So because we are differentiating with respect to b, 1 and a square will become 0 and the differentiation of b square will be 2b. Now this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and we get dou z by dou b to be equal to y plus this um, 1 plus a square plus b square the whole power negative 1 by 2 when brought to the denominator this negative 1 by 2 becomes positive and so we will be having b divided by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. So we have got dou z by dou b. Now we have to put dou z by dou b to be equal to 0. So when we put it as 0, we have we get y plus b divided by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square is equal to 0. So when this is equal to 0, we get the value of y to be equal to negative b divided by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. So this is equal this can be marked as equation 4 because previously we have marked this as equation 3 and so this is equation 4. Now we shall after marking the equation 3 and 4 we shall proceed the problem further. So I have taken and I have written x and y over here which is equation 3 and 4. Now we have to further proceed this problem in order to eliminate a and b for which we, let us make some simplifications. So I am going to square and add these two equations. So on squaring and adding equation 3 and equation 4 we get. So what we get is squaring this x we get x square. And the left hand side to be, has to be added to the left hand side of equation 4. So plus the square of, uh, I mean uh, by squaring equation 4, the left hand side will be y squared is equal to the square of the right hand side of equation 3. So uh, when we square this negative sign vanishes and we get a square divided by the square root vanishes and we get 1 plus a square plus b square. And add it with the squaring of the right hand side of equation 4. So when we square this, this negative sign vanishes and we get b squared divided by square root also vanishes. And we get 1 plus a square plus b square. Now we shall subtract x square plus y square from 1 on both the sides. So subtracting both left hand side and the right hand side from 1 we get 1 minus of x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 minus of now here the LCM also we will take it will be 1 plus a squared plus b squared and in the numerator we have a squared plus b squared. Now on the right the LCM is uh, 1 plus a squared plus b squared and so it will be when, when this is multiplied with 1 we have 1 plus a squared plus b squared minus a square minus b square. So we can see that on the left we have 1 minus x square minus y square. So on the right this plus a square and minus a square gets cancelled plus b square and minus b square gets cancelled and so finally we get 1 minus x square minus y square to be equal to we are left out with this 1 so 1 divided by 1 plus a square plus b square. Now from this we get 
Taking this to the left and this to the right, we will have 1 plus a square plus b square to be equal to 1 divided by, when this comes to the right, it comes to the denominator. So, 1 minus x square minus 1 square. Taking square root on both the sides, we get the square root of 1 plus a square plus b square to be equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. Let us mark this as equation 5. Now let us substitute this equation 5 in equation 3 and 4. That is, here we have equation 3 and equation 4. At the place of square root of 1 plus a square plus b square, we shall replace it by 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So let us do that now. So substituting equation 5 in equation 3 and 4. So this is equation 5. Now equation 3 is what? x equal to negative a. So let us write that. So x is equal to negative a divided by the square root of 1 plus a square plus b square we have where so this can be written as 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. In a similar way y will be equal to we have y to be negative b divided by so negative b divided by 1 by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. Now from this we get the value of x and y to be, I mean the value of x will be equal to, this is denominator of the denominator, it will become the numerator. So negative a square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. In a similar manner, y will be equal to negative b square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. Now from this, what is the value of a will be equal to? a will be negative x divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So taking this to the left. So a will be equal to, this negative sign goes here, negative x divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So I have written that here. So a is equal to negative x divided by, so a is equal to negative x divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. Okay. Similarly here, this one, y is equal to minus b square root of 1 minus x square minus y square we have. From this, what will be b equal to? b is equal to, this negative sign goes here, negative y, div, this comes to the denominator. So, negative y divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So, that I have written here. So, b is equal to negative y divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. Let us mark these two equations as equation 6 and this as equation 7. We shall now substitute this equation 5, equation 6 and equation 7 in our complete integral that is equation 2. So we will substitute equation 5, 6 and 7 in equation 2. So what we will get is equation 2 is what z equal to ax. So z is equal to ax but what is a? a is negative uh, a x so when we multiply x with a we get x square here so x square divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square and then what we have plus b y see if you, uh, here we have plus b a x is over b y so with with this b if you multiply y we get so plus uh, we have the negative sign no so we will put that negative sign here y square divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. And then what we have? We have square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. What is that? Square root of 1 plus a square plus b square is 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So we will substitute that. So plus 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. We shall now simplify this. So when we take the LCM on the right, the LCM is square root of 1 minus x square 
minus y square and in the numerator we have negative x square negative y square plus 1. So this can be rewritten as z equal to 1 minus x square minus y square divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 square. We can cancel these two and this here we have uh, square root. So from this we get z to be equal to square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. Now in this squaring on both the sides we get z square to be equal to on squaring the square root vanishes and we get 1 minus x square minus y square. Taking this negative x square and negative y square to the left we will have x square plus y square plus z square to be equal to 1. So this is the required singular integral for the given question. That is z equal to px plus qy plus square root of 1 plus p square plus q square has the singular integral as x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. This problem is very significant in the examination point of view. So kindly go through it patiently. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.